I'm going to show you a simple method of measuring that will help you draw anything. Have you ever been frustrated with your drawings not looking quite like what they're supposed to? Here's a drawing of a ceramic pitcher. It has all the stuff a pitcher should have, a spout and a handle, but it doesn't quite look right. If we're not certain how to draw something, our brain will turn to symbols and it'll draw what you think the object should look like not what it really looks like. How do we overcome this? Well, rather than thinking of the object, I think of everything the same way. A series of points that share relationships with each other. Everything has a high point, a low point, and wide points. And it's how those points connect that help you draw the object. Working from the largest shape, I draw red lines to show where the outside points line up on the picture. Once I have that, I can then compare smaller shapes the same way, like where the low point on the spout lines up vertically and horizontally with the rest of the picture. Each time thinking high point, low point, and wide point, how they line up. When you're drawing, you can use your pencil or brush to compare these points. Holding your pencil in front of you, it's easy to make vertical and horizontal comparisons. If you trust this process, it will allow you to draw anything. I use this in still life, landscape, and portrait. So let's see how this works. I always start a drawing from general to specific, finding the relationship of the length to the width. I don't think about the object as a thing, I just find the high point, low point, and points that stick out the furthest on either side. Here I can see the overall shape of the picture is just slightly longer than it is wide. The base of the picture is a sphere, so I draw a circle to the approximate size. And from there I draw to where I've placed the marks. Placing the shape of the spout has both the wide and the high points. Then you can see my hand hold the pencil vertically. I'm looking for where the low point of the spout will line up with the base. I continue making these vertical and horizontal comparisons, modifying the shape until it matches what I see. Notice that I don't erase very much. I draw my first lines lightly, then check the placement and modify them. If I erased my original lines, I would probably put them back in the same place. Leaving them allows me to make corrections, and by darkening the line as I become more and more certain of my drawing. And there you go, a drawing that looks like the subject. As you can see, my first marks were not perfect, but I was able to refine the shape using my simple method of comparing high points, low points, and wide points. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. For in-depth lessons and demos, visit my Patreon site, The Painter's Classroom, where for $5 a month, you get lessons in the form of videos, blogs and handouts, plus you get your art questions answered. See you there!